This movie is the cinematic equivalent of Valium. I was unbelievably bored out of my mind with this movie. Like, Liam Neeson's been in some really bad movies, but at least when the movies are bad, they're at least fun. They're at least so bad they're good in a way. They're at least somewhat entertaining. This was not. For a movie called The Marksman, there's not a lot of action in this movie. It's really slow. It's really boring. And even Liam Neeson seems bored. Like, he doesn't even do his typical cliche shtick that he does. Like, we know what we're getting with Liam Neeson. We know the typical shtick that we're going to get with him. And we don't. We don't have any of this. We could have really cast anybody in this movie. Having Liam Neeson in it doesn't make it all that special. Nothing happens in this movie. It's just him and this random kid in a car driving somewhere for two hours. The last 20 minutes had a little bit of action, but at that point, I'm just like, I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. This movie's boring. I'm, I'm bored out of my mind with this. So, honestly, I'd rather have a bad movie where I'm at least entertained. It could have, like, stupid dialogue. It could have over-the-top action. At least make it entertaining. Don't have a movie where literally nothing happens until, like, almost the end, because at that point, I don't care. Honestly, you know, for a movie called The Marksman, it really way, way, way misses the mark. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything good to say about this movie. I would have to give The Marksman an F. A zero out of ten. A zero out of five stars. There is a reason they released this movie in January. So far, it's one of the worst movies of 2021, which is disappointing because with Liam Neeson, I was expecting something better than what I got, but there you go. It was boring.